This is the Rainbow Tree, a modular tower project in Cebu City, Philippines. This project reveals the cultural and natural Filipino heritage, which is named after Rainbow Eucalyptus, a colorful tree from the Philippines. This tower is adorned with the most beautiful plant essences from the neighboring tropical forests. This luxuriant dress of more than 30,000 plants, shrubs, and tropical trees draws a flourishing spiral in the colors of the rainbow and brings a breath of freshness to the heart of Cebu Business Park. The tower is expected to capture 150 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere before transforming it into oxygen through natural photosynthesis. This tower is said to be in symbiosis with nature, which identity reveals that it is based on ventilation, large open interior spaces, and terrace networks adapted to the tropical climate. It was entirely conceived in a way to reduce the carbon footprint of the building. The aim of the project is to construct a residential building with double environmental certification. The LEED and BIRD certificates, which offer the perfect balance between mixed cultural heritage and natural heritage of unparalleled splendor. The tower's basement contains 120 parking spaces, while the ground floor accommodates a catering restaurant, a co-working space, a lobby, and space for parked bicycles. The second story includes further co-working spaces, with floors 3 to 6 offering 260 spaces for electric vehicles. The seventh and eighth stories accommodate a pool, spa, and a fitness center, while floors 9 to 31 contain 13 apartments per floor. There's also a sky farm on the 31st story that produces fruits, vegetables, and algae. The roof boasts 1,650 square meters of photovoltaic and thermal solar panels, and a farm of axial wind turbines with magnetic levitation to generate electricity without noise. The idea of the design was first invented in the 1990s in Austria and Germany. The construction technique used consisted of overlaying perpendicularly wooden slats and connecting them together using structural, now organic adhesives. The tower is also covered with a cladding of cedar planks, burnt according to the ancestral Japanese method called Shosugiban. The building has a better resistance to fire, wood-eating insects, and fungi. The building who has a negative carbon footprint takes on a flexible design for reversible programming consisting of a central core and an exoskeleton facade. All the modules are directly inspired by the Bahay Kubo, a traditional house in the Philippines, also known as Nipa huts, made of natural materials from the forest, such as wood, bamboo, and palm leaves. Before the arrival of the Spanish colonizers with their stone-based constructions, this traditional Filipino rural house originally rested on stilts and was anchored to the trunk of trees near the rice fields, coconut palms, and orchards. Vincent Calabout Architectures designed the 32-story, 115-meter-high tower, built of solid wood, as it's the only natural, abundant, and renewable material. It has been designed with verdant balconies, capable of accommodating a diverse selection of plant life. What can you say about the design of the rainbow tree? Will it be substantial? Share with us your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to give this video a like and follow us for more. Thanks for watching!